Hello, everybody. This is Michael. Um, in this video, we will talk about the F FPGA UR controller for the FTDI chip, for the USB to UR FTDI chip, this one. Okay? Um, previous video, we discussed about the uh, uh, virtual devices for it. Now it's time to take a look at the um, um, controller. Okay, the controller is this one. This is a uh, uh, FTDI UR to USB controller. Actually, it's just a uh, uh, control the UR uh, port, UR side. Okay, so this is controller. This controller will be divided to two modules. One is TX module, another one is uh, RX module. TX module is send data out, RX module is receive data, okay? So um, for the modules interface, we take a look at the interface first. So this one is a clock, and first one is clock, of course, and then it's reset, and then it's enable. Enable is for the uh, send data out, is for enable to send data out. This is um, receive data. This is data in. So what data need to send it out will be put it here. And this is um, uh, TX send out. And this is data. So this data out is means we receive what kind of data. We see this is send data, okay, from outside module. And this is receive data from the UR and send to another modules. And this is um, send, uh, send finish, finish send process done. And this is read done, okay. To net, to net other modules to, to know we already send it out, we, all, we already receive some data, okay. So that will be have two modules. One is, this one is send data out, also have a clock uh, reset and enable. This is TX, send it out. So this is send what date? Okay, so this is uh, send finish, finish flag, finish, uh, um, finish send the data. So this is read data. Read data is uh, clock reset, and this is uh, a receive, receive uh, line. And this is send, uh, when the receive process is, is done. So what uh, it output to other modules, what kind of data it has received. Okay, this is received done. Uh, first, uh, let's take a look at the send data. Okay, here is the send data. The send data, we define the uh, status here. So this is idle, start, write, stop, done. So it will be a uh, the status machine, and we described it uh, before. So this is idle, start, write, stop, done, okay? And this is uh, 1B timing, okay? We described it before, but now it, this is 550. Why is 50, no? um, We assume it is 100 megahertz. We assume it's 100 megahertz clock here. And then we need uh, um, we need to communicate with our virtual devices is uh, which is two meg. So uh, one hundred meg divided two meg is fifty. Okay, this is fifty. So this is fifty and the current state next state. This is counting timing, counting the the okay one B time. This is enable to count or not. Okay, this one is a very standard. It's uh, next next state to current state. So this is a count, very standable. We we talk it uh, about the uh, in the ADC modules. Okay, so this is a state change. Okay, when we reset, we make it uh, idle, idle status, and not not count, not uh, start the timer, and we always make the uh, center line is high. Okay, the, the center down is zero, means we didn't uh, send anything. 
So send the B is zero, start from zero. Okay, this is idle. So if enable, if enable from here, from here, if it is enable, then we will be to go to the start, go to the uh, here. If it is enable, so we go to the, if it is enable, we go to the start. We go to the start and begin to count. And uh, okay, if not, it it stayed stayed uh, idle. Okay. Okay. So if it is start and the timing counting is one bit. Uh, first we we make the uh, in the in the start in the start status we output. Uh, let's take a look at the timing. In the start status, we output this one. We output this uh, start B, so it it need to be zero. And then count is one B timing, and then we switch to uh, right. Okay, so switch to right. Then we switch switch to right. So in the uh, in the right status, okay, if. Uh, Initialize so we send one B. This is zero B. We send one B out. We send one B out, and then we count it. If it is one B timing, so we will to adjust the B is already um, sent out eight B or not? Because the because this one is start from zero, so this should be seven. Okay, so this should be seven. This should be there, and uh, um, this eight means eight B. Okay, this because this from zero, so this will be seven. If it's seven, it means already sent out all the eight B. So it should be go to stop. Okay, it should go to stop. Otherwise, let it plus it plus one to increase to increase the data out. Okay, so go to stop. Uh, okay. In the stop, we need to output. Uh, we need to output a high level in one B timing. Uh, high level. Okay, this will be high level one B timing. After this, we go to done. Now uh, here. After this, we go to done. The so done. Uh, uh, in done status, we will to make the tx down to high and then after one clock we make it to zero so tell other modules they will have a pause pause like this and then tell other module we already finish uh, send out send out the process so we only just finish send out the process send this 8b data out already done okay so this is a send Send module. Let's take a look at the receive module. Of course, the same. Okay, the same. They will have status defined. Idle start read stop down. Idle start read stop down. Okay. So uh, this is current state. Next state. Calm. Time count. Enable count and the re and the receive bits. Okay. So this is also the exactly same with this and this exactly same with the TX modules okay so we take a look the status change according the according the status machine okay um, first is idle in the idle uh, we need to uh, uh, judge the age levels so if if Rx is zero uh, if Rx, uh, we will waiting here. If this one, if this Rx here is zero, if this is zero, we will uh, we will enter the start status. In the idle status, we will see this one is zero or not. If it is zero, we enter the start status. Okay. In the start status, uh, in the start status. We will counting in half of the B. 
which means it's here. Is here if this one is still zero, is this still zero? So we means uh, we get a correct start B. Then we go to the read, read state. Otherwise we go to idle. Okay. Uh, we go to the read state uh, then. Uh, when we go to the read state, uh, we will uh, count one B, which means from here to here in the middle of the next B. Uh, one B timing, one B timing here, from here to here. So in the middle of the next bit, and then we will receive the data. Here is receive the data. Put it into the out, date out uh, uh, register, and, uh, and then increase uh, labels, increase the labels. After we receive the 8B, so this is 8B, we go to the stop, we go to the stop state. Okay, similarly, uh, in the stop state, we will to see we will see the um, in the stop state we will see the in the mid of it in the mid of it it is high level or not if it is high level means this one is a stop b is receive a correct stop b so we go to the down so we go to the down stage down state okay the down state we also uh, at first, we make it high and uh, count on one clock and then make it low. So it means we have a one clock plus and uh, one clock and high uh, receive done signal to tell other modules we already received uh, data. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, received data and this is uh, uh, send data. And this is the controller. So uh, the last thing we take a look at the test bench. Okay, the test bench. The test bench combines the controller. This is a controller interface. Okay, controller interface, and combines the virtual devices together. So the controllers send will be the virtual devices receive, and it. Uh, receive will be the virtual devices uh, sent out okay um, we take a look at, um, so here we will generate the clock this clock is uh, because we define the period here is 10 nanoseconds so it will generate the clock will be 100 meg 100 megahertz okay so first uh, initialize the reset and uh, make the enable is zero so it's not enable the module then reset here so finish reset after the finish reset we put the uh, data in as five 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 and uh, then we need to send the data uh, out and enable the module and finish enable and in the module it will show it should because the virtual devices uh, will send back whatever it received. So we send out 5 5, we should receive 5 5. Okay. So let's do the simulation, run the simulation. Run the behave simulation. Okay, great. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the waveform. And run again. Okay, now it's stop. Okay, you will see here, 
So this is start B and this is five. This is lower B, lower B. So this is one zero one zero. This is lower B. So this will be five. This is one zero one zero. This is another five. So this is start and this is stop. And we'll be here. You will get a uh, send that out signal. Okay, you will get this send out done signal here. And this is receive, you receive date. This is also a one zero one zero five. One zero one zero five. And this is the this is the done. So means already uh, you will see here we send out the data in is five five and the data out is five five. Means we we receive five five out and the we send five five out and also we receive five five back. Okay, um, that's it. That's the uh, uh, FPGA UR controllers for the FDDI chip UR USB to UR. And uh, I'm Michael, and I hope you like it and support us and uh, subscribe us. See you next time. Thank you.